Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best free rare weapons and guns in the game. So we've got a ton of weapons to cover today, so let's dive into this and let's get it started. We're going to be starting with arguably what is the most important one we're going to be getting today, and it's important because it only occurs in one specific mission. And if you don't get it in this mission, it's gone forever. So it occurs in chapter 3. It's a mission to you given by Dutch called Magicians for Sport. Now, I'm not going to spoil the mission for those of you guys that are not there or maybe haven't completed it. But essentially, you and Charles go out and you'll eventually find yourself in front of a barn. You've just gotten out of a cornfield and there's actually two guys in this barn that are shooting at you. One of them is in the bottom window, and then one of them is supposed to be at the top, but could be at the bottom window too. Basically, there's only two guys in this barn. One of those guys is going to have a rare weapon, and that weapon is the rare rolling block sniper rifle. So you can buy the rolling block rifle from gunsmiths and stores, but the rare rolling block rifle can only be acquired in this mission. It has better stats, and according to the game, it's made of light wood and blackened steel, adorned with carvings previously belonging to a bounty hunter after Josiah Trelaney, and found in a barn near Braithwaite Manor. This gun is a single-shot weapon and can use regular, high-velocity, split-point express and explosive rifle ammo. So once again, this weapon can only be acquired in this mission. And if you have not gotten this gun, then it is gone forever. You would have to go back and do this specific mission in order to get it. And it is one of the best rifles in the game. It can't be customized, but as you guys can see there with its stats, it is already an amazing weapon. It's really good as far as guns that have a scope on there. So that for sure is going to be one of the best weapons in the game, the rare rolling block sniper rifle. Rare weapon number two today is going to be the double action revolver. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are gonna say, well, wait a minute, I got a free gold double action revolver for playing Grand Theft Auto Online. Well, even if you did, if you want another, or if you didn't play Grand Theft Auto Online or never got the challenge for whatever reason, here's how you get the rare double action revolver. So you can get it by default in chapter three, if you talk to Sean, he'll actually mention a home invasion that you can do. And this is where you're going to find the double action revolver. So you and Sean go to this home. It's a little cabin up in the woods. And there's going to be about, I'd say, six to seven guys that ultimately you have to defeat. And once you go inside, you should notice a stash box underneath the bed. And underneath the bed is where you are going to find the double action revolver revolver which in and of itself is one of the better revolvers you can have in the game and uh, it's a really cool gun it can also be customized as well which is super unique uh, a lot of the rare weapons we're going to be finding today don't have customization but that's because they're either unique to a character or have specific qualities already built onto them but this one is really cool so that is where you can find the uh, double action revolver now in case you do not want to do the mission with sean or you're not in chapter three, you can just go to this location on the map right here and it will still be there. You just sort of have to clear out these guys and uh, still look under the same bunk bed and you will find the double action revolver there waiting on you. So that right there is rare weapon number two. Rare weapon number three today is going to be Schofield's revolver. And this actually requires you to rob the Valentine doctor's office. Now, I'm not talking about just going up there and, you know, robbing the front place. There's actually a secret business that takes place at the Valentine's doctor's office. So you have to find out about the secret business first. Just go around back and look through the window and you'll be able to get the notification that, hey, there's a secret business going on here. Now, one thing I would recommend is I wasn't able to take full advantage of this. I didn't have any dynamite on me at the time. You'll see why in a second. But basically, you just have to go inside of the doctor's office. You want to rob it. But instead of robbing the clerk up front, 
you want to actually rob the uh, guys in the back and you do that by pressing up on the d-pad when you get to the back you're going to notice there's going to be a handful of guys back there doing some shady nefarious stuff you want to take out all of them and you'll notice that on the table there is a weapon in a case and that is Schofield's revolver another rare weapon that you can acquire in RDR2 now I would take your time here and loot the rest of this place the reason why I said I missed out is because there's actually a safe on the wall and I didn't have any dynamite at the time so I was unable to get what was in here I'm sure I could go back for whatever was in the safe but as you guys can see there's a lot of lawmen on me right now and the longer you stay the longer your bounty is going to be uh, and a whole lot more so that right there is rare weapon number three today and it is Schofield's Revolver, another really good weapon that you can get in game. Number four today is the Rare Pump Action Shotgun. And in order to get this, you have to go to literally the edge of the world. You have to go to this hidden cave, what Arthur calls a hidden tunnel on the west side of the map. And you basically just have to explore it until you meet this guy named Hermit. Now, Hermit is a very weird and interesting character. He thinks that he is the devil. Now, you have to visit Hermit five times on five separate days, and eventually he will get agitated enough to come down from his hiding spot and actually fight you. And when he does, he is going to have the rare pump action shotgun. It's definitely a weapon that you're going to want to pick up. Like, this place is crazy. It is, like, way off the radar. So you just need to sort of like listen to this guy's story over and over and over again, and eventually you will get the rare pump action shotgun. We're going to move on to some melee weapons now. Our first melee weapon is the antler knife. This one is so cool. It's actually going to be found in a bear's body, uh, sort of in the northern part of the map. You basically just want to, you know, go sort of close to the road, uh, and then you want to look for this bear with a hunter underneath, and you can pick up the antler knife. And uh, this knife is probably one of the coolest ones in the game. It is a rare knife with a handle manufactured from the antler of a stag, and part of the blade snapped off near the cross guard. This weapon was taken from a scene from a fight between a large bear and a hunter, which occurred near Hanging Dog Ranch in Big Valley, neither side won. As you guys can see, this is where it is located, so not too far, um, and it's a really cool knife. Like, if you're going for something that looks amazing, this is one you definitely want to get. Another really cool melee weapon is the Viking Hatchet. This hatchet is amazing and it can actually be found at the old Viking tomb. So this is pretty easy to find. You basically just go to the tomb and the hatchet is going to be lodged inside a skull next to a rock. And this hatchet is awesome. It is a rare ancient hatchet engraved all over with Nordic patterns and bound with leather. This melee weapon was found at an old site altar in the Roanoke Valley area of New Hanover, lodged in a skull, and as a bonus, it can also be thrown. Now, in addition to that, you can also find a Viking helmet a little bit further along, so if you want to grab that as well, you can, and it's found at this location right here, sort of north of Ansberg, so pretty easy to get to. Moving on, our next weapon is going to be the Civil War Knife, and it's actually found at this old Civil War castle. Basically, you just need to go into the one hut in the game. You need to go to the underground bunker, and on one of the chests, there's going to be the Civil War Knife, which is an old bowie knife with a solid blade, worn wooden handle, and large D-shaped handguard for protection. This weapon was commonly used by Civil War soldiers and is covered in rust was found in a storage room underneath the ruined Fort Brennard in Roanoke Ridge, New Hanover. Now, while you guys are here, you should also grab some of the other goodies that you can take underneath this bunker and the Civil War hat as well, which happens to look really, really cool. I'm sorry about it being so dark in here. There was literally nothing I could do. It's an underground bunker that I just could not get out of. And this fort can be found just north of the Camasa River and also just to the west of the Van Horn Trading Post. So on the east side of the map. Now, moving on to our next weapon, that is the wide blade knife. This is actually going to be found in a mine, which is really cool. So what's funny is you're actually going to have to like detonate the mine itself. When you get to it, it's going to be blocked off. So basically, you just want to look for the plunger that's maybe about 20 feet away. 
you want to use it, it's going to create a big explosion. And then basically you just follow the cave all the way to the back where you will find the wide blade knife stuck in the back of this poor miner. And uh, you can also get the mining hat as well, which is really cool. It comes with like a lantern on there by default. And the wide blade knife is a rare hunting knife with a wide clip point blade and worn curved wooden handle. This knife was found sticking out of the back of a corpse deep in the mind of Beryl's dream, Big Valley. The previous owner of this weapon went to great lengths to prevent their crime from being discovered. And this is where you can find this. It is uh, west of Big Shan, the mountain, at a mine called Beryl's Dream. Pretty easy to find if you're in the area. Our next rare weapon today is a hatchet called the Double Bit. It's actually going to be located on a tree stump um, that can be found near Wallace Station. It's really easy to find. It's a rare hatchet featuring a double-bladed head, one razor sharp side for chopping and cutting, and one dull side for splitting wood. This melee weapon was found on a tree stump near Wallace Station in Big Valley and appears to be fairly new, and it can also be thrown. So this is where it's located right here. Literally look for Wallace Station and go northwest, and I'm pretty sure you guys will find it fairly easily. And our final weapon today is going to be the Ancient Tomahawk, which for this you actually need to go east of the Wapati Indian Reservation, sort of on this like lake up here. Basically, you just want to look for like this target, and on the target is going to be the Ancient Tomahawk, which in my opinion has like the coolest looking handle in the game. It is a traditional native uh, tomahawk with stripe bound shaft and polished sharp blade. So that right there is a bunch of free rare weapons that you can find throughout the world in Red Dead Redemption 2 that number one, you won't have to pay a cent for, and number two, are probably way better than a lot of the other weapons that you can buy from the gunsmith or that you can purchase from somewhere else. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.